In an emergency situation, can you take any old fan belt or even a broken fan belt and splice it back together? Oh yeah, you can. Let me show you. I've got this old tiller here that I'm fixing up for a family member. Didn't have the reverse shaft and stuff hooked up. Anyway, long story short, I need a belt that runs from here down to there. Along here, just runs off this pulley. Right here, I have probably 70, 80 belts and none of them are this short. So what I did is just cut one down. I just took a regular belt, it was a lot longer, and I just cut it to the size I needed. And now we're gonna go about splicing this. Now all the strength of a fan belt is in this outer layer. You see these big old fabric cords, probably like nylon cords or something. It's just on the very outside of the fan belt. So what I did, and this is the same belt, is I just cut it at two angles, just so they line up to the right length. And then what I'm gonna do is put a hole in the fan belt. And I'm using a leather belt punch, but, and they still sell these. They're great for random projects, but I use them, use it quite a bit. But you could actually drill it as well, just use a drill bit. But I've punched one hole right here. And now I'm gonna punch another one about right here. Take that. And the leather belt punch is nice because it actually leaves a hole all the way through. So now I got two little holes. And now, belling wire. Of course, belling wire. What else would you use? Take some wire, cut a little bit long, and we're going to bend one angle on it. And we're going to insert that through the top, down in. And then we're going to line this up how we want it and where the other side goes down the other hole we're gonna bend it as well so now we've got that so you got the hole on the bottom I'm gonna give a little bit of a slot for the extra wire so I'm just gonna cut a little v-notch up to my hole and just take out that little piece of rubber so now I got just a little channel for the wire to recess and sit up into. I'm not going to do it on the top because I don't want to compromise the actual cordage. Take our thing, insert it, insert the other side. Now, let's get the bigger. Well, I'm pushing on one side and holding it in. I'm gonna bend it over so it's nice and tight. Same thing with the other side. Bend it over, nice and tight. Now, that is joined, but we need to twist this on itself. So I'm gonna get in the middle. I'm gonna 90 that one. Bring this one around as well. Now, where this lines up with that hole again, I'm going to bend an angle, I'm going to cut off the excess, I'm not going to leave it very long, and we're going to bend that down, and we're going to try to insert that back in the original Just hole. jam down in there. Same thing with the other side. We're going to see where it goes down that hole, Lift, start bending it, cut off some of the extra, bend it at a sharp 90. Get it down that hole. There we go. That is my belt held together. You know, it is definitely not as strong as new, but it is strong and it's going to work. Let's put it to the test. That's snug. See if it works.
Belts, 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 and even more belts. The only way to get around this is to collect more belts, right? Now, it's a great little trick to learn. In a heavier duty or wider belts, so you can actually put two pieces of belling wire, or really heavy duty belts, so you can put the belling wire further up, do any combination of that. You know, it gets you out of a pinch. This was a kind of unique situation and puts it through about as extreme situation as it does because the pulleys were so small. So the top pulley, you know, it's bending about like that and then it's instantly going around another pulley, it's bending it backwards, which is pretty extreme where, you know, it'll last a good little while on there, but to uh, have it last even longer, if you just had a typical situation where you just had two big old pulleys, you know, smaller pulley, or bigger pulley, where it's just running around, it'll last actually quite a while. You know, not for high torque situations where you need a lot of pull, but it'll work, it'll get you out of a bind. If you enjoyed this video, got a lot of other videos you will enjoy. I know you'll enjoy probably the spark plug one, how to clean a spark plug. I'll put the link right after this, along with um, paint. How to remove the scratches from your paint. I'll put a link to that one right after this as well. Click on one of those two videos or another one I put up. Um, enjoy those. And if you haven't already, leave a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe because it's still free. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Bye. You know, belts are just one of those things I can't pass up. You never have too many random belts. Most of these are new. People just, uh, they store them just in case. And, and that one's used. But you never just have, you can never have too many. So, love my belts. Oh, here's a couple more too, right here. Just in case you thought that was it.